And y'all made me know we're from the Love Bee Butterflies movie. That's a very good movie. I should go check that out. Yeah, all, right. all right, so for today's show, we will focus on overcoming challenges with poetry done by the famously known Andrew. But before we get to that, we want to introduce our lovely guest. Chris. Yay! Welcome to the show, man. So, what will bring you to the show, man? How, you, how, you, how does it feel to be on the B.I.B. show, actually? It actually feels great. I watch you guys every night. Uh, it's an amazing show. I feel it. Promotes black empowerment because, as you know, it's an all black show. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm on the show tonight is to promote my book. Oh, you have a book? Yes, Impending oh. Success. Okay. Mm. Basically, what the book is about is sort of a twist on my life growing up. Okay. As most people know, um, I grew up in a very, I want to say, a hood, a, a, a very ghetto neighborhood, okay. but I actually went to school in a private school, a predominantly white school, and the book basically talks about me overcoming not just racism in the school, but me not being accepted in my own neighborhood because I went to a predominantly white school. How, how was it like for you? Were, were you like, were you... An outcast. Yeah, basically. How, were you an outcast? Like, how did it feel? Describe to me. Well, basically, I was the only black kid in the school. <laughs> so, outcast doesn't begin to describe it. Okay. Uh, I mean, it was just rough. I would come home, I, I would just walk into school one day, and I would see a racial slur painted on my locker, and of course no one would admit up to do it. I'd tell the principal, she wouldn't care. She would just say, get over it. Kids make jokes. Mm -hmm. These things happen. You know, just very disrespectful, hurtful phrases towards me. Uh, I, I, I'm actually a football player. Oh, I'm actually really? a very good football player. Oh, wow. Better than everyone on my team. <laughs> but the coach didn't necessarily want me to play. So most of the games I played on bench, I was playing on a bench. Oh wow, must have been pretty rough for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I kept my, my body still intact from not playing, so I guess that's the good side. <laughs> Basically, like, in the book, you come, you talk about overcoming challenges. Like, so how was those challenges overcome for you? Like, how did you overcome them? These challenges that I faced, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one that's faced them. I'm not the only one that's written a book about them. But I think it's very important that if you do face these challenges, to tell people your story. Because not everybody's story is the same. Some people's story is worse, some people's story is not that bad. But at the end of the day, it's still a hurtful story about racism that needs to be told. I believe a way to end racism is to end ignorance. And the only way to do that is through education. I will make sure that every single person in this audience gets a free copy of my you see that? Wonderful. That 
to the show. Welcome to the show. So today, man, it's Andrew here. We got Tamir. Everyone's going home with their new album. My name is Afi, and I have a question for Hello. for the young man who wrote the book. So I want to ask you, what's your mo your prime motivation for writing the book? My prime motivation for writing the book was people telling me I couldn't do it. I mean, someone walked up to me in sixth grade and said, "How do you know how to read?" That sort of would have been the main spike for me wanting to write this book. Hi, I'm Rodisha. Um, I'd like to know if you can tell one thing to young children who are looking at you on TV, what would it be to keep them motivated? Just do it. The people that told me every day that I couldn't do it are the ones washing my $20,000 car. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Are You Next Water? Everyone gets Are You Water! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are You Water? That wraps up the show, and uh, see you next time.